In the 2000 hit movie Meet the Parents, Robert De Niro, aka Jack, shocked the world when he spoke Thai. Or how about your little phone call in Thai? <sighs> Jack can't talk Thai. Oh no, Dina, Jack can't talk Thai. Jack talked Thai very well. Oh my god. <laughs> So the question is, can Jack talk Thai? Jack can't talk Thai. Now, surprisingly, this clip is an amazing lesson in not just Thai, but any tonal language. So you're really going to want to listen to the end because there are actually some rich language lessons from this clip from Meet the Parents. Now, this is thanks to Andrew in the comments section on my latest analysis on John Cena's Mandarin Apology, where I break down his Mandarin. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. But let's jump into the clip now. We'll do a once through of the entire clip. So I've done my best to pull those levels up. You can see on the right-hand side in the spectrogram. So let's see. Does Jack talk Thai? Okay, that's it. Wow, what a specimen. And there are actually some really amazing lessons. Let's go to the beginning and um, do it. Now, you've got to understand that I don't think that Robert De Niro actually speaks Thai. But so this is a testament to the language coach for the movie, um, how they've brought him up to speed in a language or sounding at least like he speaks a language that he probably doesn't speak um, in a very short time. And we can actually learn a lot from it in how to start building prosody in a new language so you can actually sound more natural in a very short time. Okay, so let's see, starting with Ben on the roof. Phone call. Okay, dai kap, dai kap. This word dai in Thai um, is the same word that we have de in Chinese, de in uh, Vietnamese. It means literally to have obtained and it's in translation can or to have something. So to say dai kap, dai kap, that literally means yes you can, yes it is, um, you're able to, anything like that. Um, so he's saying dai to something. Let's see what he's saying die to. They're in the middle of a conversation. Okay, so I tried and I've tried. I really can't figure everything out. It says something, something, something. I want to something, something, something in Chiang Rai. Now, I'm assuming it's something like Zong Hong, book a room in Chiang Rai. Or he might be saying the name of the hotel. Um, but he's already speaking to the operator. Let's listen to it again. Um, um, I can't figure out what that mumble was. Okay, so samlap kitan krap. Samlap for kitan. How many people? So in Thai we have two words. Ki, how many? If you're asking about a quantity or taulai, how much? So here kitan. Tan is the respectful form for a person. Khon. So you could say ki khon, how many people, but ki tan is a more polite way if you're going to a restaurant or if you're asking somebody where you have to defer a certain amount of respect, um, use the word tan. You can also use it for he, she, or even you as a respectful pronoun. So ki tan, how many people is it for? Okay, so this bit, probably out of the whole clip, I have no idea what he said. It sounded like, Samna Puksa, Puksa means to 
to consult, but that doesn't. And then Rasa Mita. I'm not sure what he's say, saying there. Uh, I, I think also probably the editors don't speak Thai and so they've just tried to catch clips to fill in the scene. Um, I don't know what he was actually saying there. Okay, so the response is Chai Krap. Now we've got to remember in Thai there is no word for yes. Um, the way that you repeat in the affirmative is to say the verb back. So Chai Mai, is it or is it not? Chai, it is. Dai mai, can I or may I or may I not? Dai, you can, meaning yes. So here you'll hear a lot of chai. You'll notice, have a listen to it again. Okay, so is it chai mai? Even the chai mai might be inferred. Somebody could um, respond in chai. But don't think that chai is a catch all response for yes. It literally means it is or that is correct. Okay, so he said Pramahan Chao. He's actually got the tone pretty spot on for the word morning. Ahan Chao, food of the morning. Pramahan Chao, does it come with breakfast? So Pramahan Chao, Prom literally means together with. Ahan chao, ahan from the Sanskrit word ahara, you might know it if you speak Hindi. Chao meaning morning from the word chao in Mandarin, you would know that word as well. And so ahan chao, breakfast. Prom ahan chao, does it come with breakfast? Okay, this is where we start to get the falang kind of voice coming in, or people who don't speak tonal languages. In English, we'd say, okay. In Thai, it's that the word that is used often for okay. Um, uses the word tok long tok literally means to fall to a point long down so tok long okay so we're agreeing on this right which is translated as okay listen to the tone tok long tok long tok long but listen how he says it and you can see here in the spectrograph tok long tok long his voice raises up here tok long because he's bringing it in from okay 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 so he probably knows what he's saying in Thai someone said oh this means this Okay, so he's saying, okay, tok long, but in Thai you would never say that because tones do not change because of mood, because of emotion, the tone stays. So tok long, okay, it's organized. Okay, so what he's saying is, ben hong sweet, chai mai. So ben hong sweet, it is a sweet room. Hong from the word fang, fang jian, hong same root meaning room hong sweet from the word sweet now you notice that it's a tag word is it you notice the singaporean people speak is it you want this one is it is it is like a catch-all um tag word in thai you can use it a lot but use chai mai is it or is it not and that's where the response chai would come in this is why many people again mistakenly think that chai means yes it does not it means is it so he's saying it's a it's a hong sweet it's a sweet room is it it is have a listen again now one thing to note here is on vowel length ben hong so we chai mai a lot of people when they're speaking an asian language for the first time they might come into this kind of mood with their voice and they cut everything off on their hand ben hong so we chai mai and he's thinking that might sound asian i guess in his subconscious um, but it should be Ben Hong Sui Chai Mai Ben Hong Sui Chai Mai. It's dragged out, especially in Thai. We have a um, distinction between short vowels, ka, and long vowels, ka. So you got to get those distinctions right. Okay, Ben Hong Sui Prom Tien Ku. I included that there because I want you to hear the actual Thai person say that. Ben Hong Sweet, Prom Tien Ku. Notice that the word Prom is used again. Now, if you're a learner of Thai, you may have learnt the word Prom meaning ready. But what it literally means is coming with at the same time. So, um, Prom Mai, are you ready? That's fair enough. But Prom Tien Ku, it comes along with at the same time a double bed. I'm sorry. 
If you can read Thai, you'd notice that the spelling of that word taught is actually weird. They have a sh at the end or sir. It comes from the Sanskrit word um, dosha, which means sin or sorry. So ko taught, it's like saying, oh, it's my bad, it's my sin, I'm sorry. Ko taught. But in Thai, we can't have these affricate or sibilant sounds at the end of things. They just cut off wherever the tongue hits. So um, dosha turns into dot and then d turns into t because all of this voicing got lost so the word dosha turns into taught ha taught i'm sorry or it's my bad okay this one i had to listen to a few times let's have a listen again i think they've edited the clip there it should be so, it comes with breakfast, does it? But listen to this, I think they've cut a word out. It's Toklong Prom Ahan Chai. And again, his tones are out. Prom Ahan saying, so it comes with breakfast. Because in English, there's this tendency to do an upward intonation at the end of questions. You can't do it in Thai. But that feeling from English is coming across and superimposing itself over the tie, which is something very common. Have a look at that John Cena clip. It happened in almost every sentence. Yes, it is. So it comes with breakfast as well. This word is often put on the end of a sentence to say to. It literally means, again, along with. And notice the D isn't joy, joy. I talked about this in the clip with Patty as well. Um, a D, da, dek, doesn't have this t that we have in English. D, D. We say D, doi, doi, because it originally came from a glottalized N. No, no, do, 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 noi, noi, doi, doi, doi. Okay, so you notice the D there is actually quite different to an English D. Doi. Right. How much? How much? He says, Tao Lai. Tao Lai. Have a listen to that again. Right. Tao Lai. Because he's probably learned that means how much. And so he says, Tao Lai. You don't say Tao Lai. It's Tao Lai Krap. Tao Lai Krap. Remember, tones do not change with emotion or between questions and statements. Tones stay as the tone. So, Tao Lai. Tao Lai. How much? Tao Lai Krap. Not Tao Lai. That's actually not bad. Excuse me, pardon me, what did you say? And notice the use of the particle na is thrown in there. This just makes it more fluid and instead of it's like saying what? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? The na is a particle to lighten the sentence and just make it flow. Okay, that was very faint, but I think it was Wela Ning Sapda. Wela Ning Sapda. Wela from the word time. Vela Ning. One. Sapda from the Sanskrit word Sapda. Now we have Hapta, you also might know. Um, we also have the word Atit, which literally means sun. Aditya, sun. Atit, Ning Atit, one week. Ning Sapda. Sapda is a higher word used for um, week. And you'll probably hear it when you're booking. Uh, rooms or you're speaking in more formal situations. Ning sabda, ning atit, they mean the same thing. Diao ha hong hai. This is a fantastic structure in Thai. First of all, the word diao, diao, pradio. So diao means in a moment, in a sec, as we'd say in Australia. Just a sec, just a sec. So, Dio, Dio, Dio. So, when Thais are saying, Oh, could you do this for me? Dio, 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 Dio. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Dio. But it's also a particle that you throw in when you say, Okay, I'm gonna do this. Gonna. It almost equates to this word, gonna. I'll just do this for you. And then listen to the structure. Dio ha hong hai krap. Now, if you have read my book, Cracking Thai Fundamentals, or done the course, you would learn these um, word meaning building blocks. One of those words, you've got kun, long, bai, ma, ao, song, hai. Hai literally means 
to bestow on somebody. Hai from the word gay to give in Chinese. So ha hai ha means to search for hai. Literally means that act of searching will be done hai for you. He doesn't say you in there at all. There's no pronoun for you, but this ha hai is a directional word meaning I'm going to do this action of ha ing of looking for searching for a room hai for you. So in English this hey at the end is often translated to for you, but it's better to think of it as a tie. Hey, bit fai hey, turn the light off for somebody. Liu bit fai hey, oh, I'll turn the light off for you. Chui bit fai hey noi, could you turn the light off for me? Notice pronouns are not necessary because the direction or who you're wanting to do it is inferred by the sentence. Alaina krap. Alaina krap. Alaina krap. It's not bad. Not bad. If he doesn't speak Thai and he's being coached on that, it's pretty decent prosody for a first timer. Dai hong suai ma krap. Dai hong suai ma. Again, you've got that word dai, but instead of meaning can or may, dai means to have obtained. So I've got a beautiful room for you. Alaina krap. Alaina. And make sure when you say sui, beautiful, you pronounce it with this rising tone. Sui, sui mark, very beautiful. If you say sui with a common tone, sui mark, that means bad luck. So I've got a really crappy room for you. Sui mark, I've got a beautiful room for you. Sui mark. Okay, I'm not sure what he was saying there. It sounds like the editing has knocked something out. Um, it sounded like me something you look blau cap. I suspect it me con you look blau cap or me hong you look blau cap. Are there people in the room or is there a room available? And so we can infer what he might have meant in this sentence from the response of the guy on the other end of the line. Mimi cap. Let's listen to that se sequence again. Yeah, me you look blau cap. He's actually said that in decent tones and decent prosody. Me you look blau cap, and then me me cap. Me me cap. So no, there aren't. Me me cap. And again, they didn't just say no. Me 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 to have. So there are not any. Maybe he's talking about is there anybody staying in the room at the moment, or are there any rooms? Me me. I would assume it means are there people in the room? Um, because Mimi, no, there aren't. So he goes on with booking that room. Toklong. Toklong, again, Toklong. Okay, okay, Toklong, Toklong. I'll just um, mention this as well. A lot of Thais, when they speak to Westerners, they'll say, okay, 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 okay. And you see a lot of Westerners put okay, 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 okay back into the Thai. Toklong. Or even even Tok Long sounds a bit unnatural. You just say crap, crap, crap for okay and. Ah, Ben Hong Sui Temai. So it sounds like they've edited this back and forth just to stretch the clip out so you get the effect with Ben Stiller on the roof setting fire to the roof. Um, but he just says again, Ben Hong Sui Temai. Ben Hong Sui. Now, chamai, 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 chamai. The often in spoken Thai, chai also gets shortened. Um, you might see some young kids, Wai Lun, write chama for chamai, but here it just sounds like he's mispronouncing chamai, but you understand what he's saying. It's a sweet room, right? Chai <laughs> krap. Again, I've used the word it is here to hammer home. There is no word in Thai that can be directly translated as yes. The general rule is you repeat the verb for affirmative responses. So it is, because he's saying Ben Hong Sui Chai Mei, it's a sweet. Is it Chai Krap? It is. So one circumstance where the use of Chai would be incorrect. For example, do you want some water? You want to drink some water? You wouldn't say chai. It's like saying, do you want to drink some water? Or it is. It just doesn't make sense. Yak Do you want some water? Do you don't drink some water? Yeah, I want it. You could just say krap, which is an affirmative. I have received what it is said. And that's then interpreted as 
yes, I would like it. But you wouldn't say chai because that would just be weird. Do you want some water? It is. It doesn't make sense. But if you're a Westerner, Falang, or a non-Thai speaker, um, they would understand what you mean because they know that non-Thai speakers always get this wrong. Get those tones, but he says and you can see it on here um, thank you thank you thank you but it shouldn't be he's is not bad which actually you can check my other clip out sawadi actually comes from su asti sawadi su asti it is good it is a little piece of goodness a blessing swastika swastika sawadi ka sawadi krap so you're actually giving a little verbal swastika which is an ancient hindu blessing which was destroyed by the nazis <laughs> That's it. That's a clip. The beautiful thing about Thai is even the whole writing system is a map of the human mouth based on this ancient Sanskrit system. And actually, you can get a mug or a t-shirt with that on from my merch shop, shop.jacademy.com. And um, you'll actually see that. You can see that all the letters in Thai, the sounds of Thai, are mapped to positions in the mouth. So you don't actually have to remember an alphabetical order. You just have to feel the map and you can feel how sounds shift across that map and not have to memorize individual letters per se. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Come to minecraft.me, jump into our Discord server by scanning the QR code up top. And we talk about all of this stuff, the mind, language, the brain, tech, everything. So you're going to love it. And I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Thank you.